Hey everyone, so we're going to be continuing on with the hydroelectric build that I'm doing for a customer and in the last video we made the base it's like a sump for the turbine and the pipe work and in this video we're going to do all of the timber framing in my workshop and then we're going to go to site and install the building on site and uh, yeah, let's get to work Right, end of day one, I've got all my uh, timbers machined down to size, just need to cut them to length and I've got all the wind braces made, seven wind braces there is, there would be eight but one would hit the door, so yeah, not bad, I'll carry on tomorrow, we've started timber framing project.
I give them a quick sanding just to knock the splinters off. Just when I'm handling them, just don't get splinters then. Right, so I decided to carry on rather than just uh, sit around in the evening. So uh, just making pegs, sweet chestnut pegs, because it splits nice. Good, strong, really rot resistant, durable. So I'm just splitting some blanks and then we'll split them on the. Uh, I've got a mould that I can put them through. Try and get a few out of these. Quite straight grain, so quite good. Right, so just lay out my mortises for these. One needs two mortises and one needs three mortises. So that is the edge, whoops, that will be the edge of where the post is. Like that. Obviously it's upside down. Yeah, so I'll work out my mortises from there. First joint test fit is going ahead, so uh, it's quite tight. I might take a little bit off of it because it's a bit of a struggle to get in. Um, but the customer's probably going to be watching this video, so I want to make sure it's a nice tight fit. <coughs>
but we don't want to battle with it too much on site. So. So that is looking lovely. Right, so I've got to grab this. So I've got this laid out. So this is the door. So I uh, can't put any bracing or support in there. Um, and on this side, the bits of timber I've got and milled for this don't really work out to fit in here well. Um, and if I go really long, it's going to clash with this. And if I go really short, it's a bit crap, not really supporting much. And I can only fit one brace anyway. I could do two tiny little short ones in here, but that's a bit pointless. So what I'm going to do instead to offer the door frame more support is I'm going to do uh, horizontal braces, kind of Japanese style on this end with the door. And I do the diagonal braces, which is kind of English style, traditional style, uh, on the other wall. Right, it's all set out now for this side of the frame. Uh, there's my horizontal um, brace, I suppose you call it, kind of, that we're going to use instead of a diagonal brace. And that'll support that door frame. Um, and yeah, so I've drawn round all my tenons, so now I know where to put my mortises, and I've marked all my peg holes on the tenons. So I'm ready to start disassembling and cutting some mortises. Uh, just marking out the last hole, peg hole for the last brace. Trying to drill backwards to mark that. Just disassemble that, and then that is uh, ready to go on the trailer and take to the job and assemble. Drill the holes offset so that the peg pulls the join together. So that's where it is currently. So move it about four mil closer to the shoulder. Now that will pull in. We we'll put the uh, put the peg in there. It's a tapered peg, you see. So that's one. And as it drives in, pulls that joint closer and closer. And after the wood dries, you can tap it in a bit more to tighten it up. Right, that is done. So that's that side. That is also that side. I'm going to leave it in here for a few days because it's not going for a while. If I put it out on the trailer, it would be in the sun. And if it's in the sun, it's all going to move and the majority won't match up so uh, yeah I'll, I'll just load it on the trailer on the final day but for now I'll just keep all the bits together this will be going where's the inside oh, it doesn't actually matter at this point that one there we there we go yeah. 
that's all the bits. About four or five days it took me to do that. Right, we're back, back to the hydro job. Got my mate Raf, good to help again. The base is looking good, really good. Bit of water in it where um where we'd had to leave the form work in, where it's got no roof. But a quick sweep down and it's uh it's perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna get that sorted out and we we'll start putting the seal logs on. We've got a half lap them, I didn't do them in preparation because it'd be too difficult to do it um without being here. So we get them on and then uh get this building locked together. Right, we just get we got this all squared up and now we're marking off it off each piece. Reject it to square, it's looking good. We're gonna put half laps in these and then lower it down, get the bolts through, and we should be good to go. Hopefully the building is nice and square, sits on it. If we've done it all right, it will do. Mostly, anyway. Mostly, there's a couple of yeah, mostly, there, yeah. <laughs> He's going after you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it bit me on the ass once. I, don't, I, you know, I don't like hurting them because I like, I love them insects. Yeah, but you can't let his thing on the ass, can you? Oh, no, no, don't, that, that hurts <laughs> already. I don't want it on my neck or face or something. <laughs> Timber. Oh, they do like this stuff. Yeah, the, 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 wood, the wood wasps, that's where they lay their eggs. I think, I think they do sometimes call it large wasps. Yeah, yeah, you call them all sorts. Is, yeah. They lay their eggs deep in the timber. But I don't think they normally go for the heartwood. It's normally on the sapwood, isn't it? It doesn't matter. I mean, things. Really? I've, I've watched them sabre wasps drill into, you know, rock hard timber like this about an inch deep. Right. About an hour until we do it. Right, test fit? Yeah. How are we looking there? Nice, right? lovely, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, nice and flush here. Yeah, good. So let's get them screwed together and then we'll drop it down on the fixings, mark the fixings, take it off, drill the holes, turn them around, count the sink and, sink and put them back down, and none of it will line up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give him a mark. Yeah, go for it. Got a feet on the side. I'll knock this one through. There you go, that went. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't gone enough yet. Yeah, it went loads. Yeah, right. It's only soft, isn't it? Are they under it? Are they ready? Well, kind of. We ready? Yep. Pop out. Oh. Hey. I missed one. Okay. You didn't do that one. <laughs> oh. Knob. Right again. Sitting nice. Yeah. Yeah, happy days. Yeah, that's sitting really nice. Feels solid all the way around that. Well happy with that. Lovely job. Chisel that one deep. Knock 
because that way. I think so. Just uh, try and get them, just get them docked in slightly all round as it as it goes. Just give them a bit of a yeah. tap and a jig. You know? Quite tight. Be careful as they get split it out. Splits out. Is that yeah. it? So that's B2. What's the brace? What brace? B12 is the B12. brace. B12. Right, let me get the brace ready. Yep. Hang on, hang on. Turn, 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 turn. B12. B12 brace. B12 is that one. That should be B11. Yep, that's it. Right, up, mate. Up, up, up. There we go. Yeah. Ah, ah, problem. What? We drive this peg in. It's in the way of this. Ah. Right there for a minute. No, I'm going to take it out because it might fall on your head <laughs> when you're whacking. Still overhanging a tiny bit. 
Yeah, it might be. I don't know if I need to clean this out with a chisel a bit. I think I remember one of them was a bit tight. Yeah. Yeah, she's in. Yeah, I remember one thing was a bit tight on the bottom. But it's a tight peg. Oh yeah. Alright. Right, that's gone really well. Really pleased with that. It's gone together perfect, really. I mean, it's actually, yeah, no problems. The one peg hole was a little bit tight. Filed it out. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna fix the legs down with some big stainless steel fixings. Uh, Raf's gonna cut the slots, I'll put the fixings in. And then we start looking at putting some uh, roof timbers up. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. It's really square, let's get lovely. Start getting some roof timbers up. Right. So what do you reckon all ground wires then? Oh, what have we got there? Because we're going to put that flush out. Was that big bear bed? Saw it, saw it buzzing past me again. Can't see it. Right, that's a foot roughly. Gotta remember this. I think it worked out at about 250 mil overhang each end. Right, so I'm, I'm at 250 here, but yeah, that's, that's I think... about to be cut off. So yeah. Just... Ref just laid out these bird's mouth uh, joins for us. So we're uh, make a couple of pattern rafters, check the fit, and then make the others all the same. Right, we got all the roof timbers up. They're quite quick and easy. Just uh, simple bird's mouths. They're not fixed. We're just going to nail them on with a nail gun tomorrow. But I reckon that came out well. It went together better than I thought it would. I thought we might get the odd problem I had to fiddle about with, but no, it was absolutely spot on. And all the legs are fixed now. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Joinery is really tight. No gaps at all. Yeah. Really nice tight joinery. Yeah, we'll get that roof on and then we'll start cladding. Right, new day. And uh, today is doing roofing, cladding, details, all that kind of stuff. Customer had um, some metal roofing left over in his barn, so uh, we're going to use that for the roof. I haven't used it before, uh, but Raf's quite experienced with the metal roofing, so it'll be all right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get these roof buttons, uh, roof timbers nailed on. They're going to button it, then get the roofing up. So, yeah. It might be worth for the lower ones ripping the sap off and have a, a straight edge. Because the sap, sap would vanish. Yeah, and then it bring, work the, its bring way the straight edge tight straight to edge the stone. Yeah, for the first ones. Yeah. Do a nicer job of it then because the yeah. sap would have rot off.
another one. Leave them for now. I'm not sure what we do about them. The ones up there? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to end up covering them or not. That's it. We'll go there. Let's have a look at how that looks. Looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks nice curve. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, do that side. Really. <laughs> See what you think. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's overlapping. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like different tastes in there. Yeah. I quite like the wiggles. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like wiggles, but I like sort of wiggles that are slightly more uniform wiggles. Right. <laughs> that'd be that, it's nice. Hold that level, is it? Yeah. I haven't got any spare hands. Right, let me just try that little boss. This is... In there. Nice. You can stick. I'll stick on in the middle on that one as well, can't you? Oh, Right, we're getting on with this. Uh, it's getting late in the day. We're a bit behind, but we're pushing on. Started doing the roofing. Russ just finishing up this corner of the cladding, leaving the door for today. That's another day. That, but um, yeah, Russ just finishing that corner. Now he's starting to cut the roof sheets, metal roofing. Put a couple of bits of batten across there. And yeah, just cut one to length. Just wait for Raf to do that, and then we'll uh, then we'll put the roof up. Up miraculously, if it might fit. You can get it stretching it out. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not going to be so good. Okay. Bit this way if we can. We've got a bit of a split. That's yeah. all. Ready? Yeah. You got a nailer? Yeah. Let's see if it fits first bit. I've got the nailer just in case we're looking straight off, which I think we are. Yeah. 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 You're good. Uh, I could just do the taking that off. Yeah, I could yeah. do that there. Right. I mean, this is good. Well, there, them two ropes that one out. Yeah. I've got the grinder. Right. You keep. Oh, yeah, yeah. good. Go on, then. Yeah. Yeah, come up one's up here nicely. Well a tiny bit here, but we can't do it without no. taking loads off, so. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Right, we're done for the day. Had a good tidy up, pack up. Yeah, came out really well. Two days, well, two days to put it together, not with all the frame and everything. Came out lovely. So now, what I want to do is basically imitate this at my place because it's so nice to have all that space in there. Yeah, 
we're we're pretty happy with it in the time we did it in it's a good job we've we've worked hard on that <laughs> the last couple of days to show you inside wait for the camera to adjust but yeah it is lovely in here but yeah it's uh it's quite big because you know it's a two meter by two meter building and all there is is a bit of pipe work and a uh, and a turbine but you know there's going to be stuff mounted on the wall and the mistake i made in my place is it's just in, just big enough and i can't get to anything if i want to do any wiring i've got to stand over the turbine in here you can walk around in it and um you know when i had my no another nozzle at my place it's just not enough room so i think we're going to redo it i think we're going to do it like this because it's worked out really well but yeah thanks to raf for helping out i uh, wouldn't be able to do it without him he does great work raf does and yeah, uh, I think that's it for us, isn't it, Raf? Yep. All done, Exciting. all done. So yeah, we include conclude the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.